going on guys? It's DC Yankee here with my first weekly recap video. Sorry I didn't do one week one, nor did I do a prediction video. This is actually the second week in a row I missed the prediction video. My bad. Um, I'll try to stay consistent with those later. Um, so we're going to recap week two. Um, first we're going to start with my Giants. Um, for the first time since 2005, I believe, Giants are 2-0. and oh. Only problem is... We... Offense is kind of struggling. I mean, I'm so glad we we actually have a defense now. The defense is playing great, man. But we had some pat. If the pass rush was more existent, we'd be one of the best defenses in the league. Offense, meanwhile, they need to get their stuff together, man. Because, um, they did good week one. Eli Manning had a good game, but the game, I literally can't believe we just struggled against the. Really bad Saints defense. Saints defense is awful. Yeah, we, we we struggle against them. Um, too many drop passes, too many fumbles. We need to improve our ball security and play calling was kind of ass too. Like we need to improve that improve improve that crap. We can get our stuff together. We could be um, we could be unstoppable. All right, we just gotta get our stuff together. That's it. That's all I ask for. Improve the ball security and, and do that, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm glad we at least we won that game. Alright, so other news around the league, we're gonna look it up right now. Um also I hope Sterling Shepard wins that dude is that dude is is a beast, man. I hope he wins rookie rookie of the week because he played a hell of a game yesterday. Uh let's see, Jets and Bills. How about this? Bills fired their offensive coordinator Greg Roman when he's not even the problem the problem is the two idiots the two Rob okay the two Ryans Rex and Rob Ryan they're, they're literally ruining that team they're, they're destroying that team really it's just that the Bills have so much talent but it's just getting wasted because Rex Ryan is a terrible coach he's more of a defensive coordinator Rob Ryan he's not a good defensive coordinator um yeah, the offense wasn't even the problem. It was basically the defense. Uh, Matt Forte had a hell of a game. 100 yards and three rushing touchdowns. I'm like, damn. Both Decker and Marshall put up 100 yards. It was actually Marshall's first 100-yard game uh, of the season. Decker had 126 yards and a touchdown. Decker's doing good so far. Uh, let's see. Now we're going to go into the Sunday matchups. That was a Thursday matchup. Uh, Carolina destroys the 49ers, 46-27. And Cam Newton, four touchdowns and 353 yards passing. Jonathan Stewart actually got injured. I, I believe he has a hamstring issue. I'm not sure. But Fozzie Whitaker stepped up for him and got 100 yards on the day. Uh, Greg Olson had a good game. And Calvin Benjamin, my best receiver in fantasy so far. Calvin Benjamin giving me fantasy points, 108 yards and two touchdowns. He's having a good start to the season coming from for a guy that's coming off an ACL injury. Glad to see him back. Um, how about this? Only the Cleveland Browns, man. Only the Cleveland Browns. They were up 20 to two in the first quarter. I said it. Browns were beating the Ravens 20 to two, and then the Ravens scored 23 unanswered points. And won the game. Corey Coleman, the first round pick for the Browns, went off in this game. He had a good game in a losing effort. Um, Josh McCown was starting because, of course, no surprise, RG3 is injured again. He's on IR, expected to miss eight weeks, I believe. And Coleman had a hell of a game. Um, Mike Wallace is proving that he isn't washed because he's... He's looking much better right now than he than he did these past few years with Dolphins and Vikings. I guess he finally found, I guess, an average QB because Flacco didn't do that do that good either. I mean, he had two touchdowns, but he also threw two picks. I think they were both to Joe Hayden, I believe. Um, how about this? The Lions lost to the Titans, and the Lions were up, I believe, fifteen to three. Until Marcus Mariota threw two fourth quarter touchdown passes to to upset the Lions. Um, Houston gets the revenge on Kansas City after the Chiefs 
shut them out in the playoffs last year. So Houston gets their revenge. Uh, although Osweiler kind of sucks right now. Uh, both Hawkins and Will Will Fuller is looking is looking like a stud, man. I think he could be a candidate for rookie of the year along with Shepard and all that all those other guys. Um, but yeah, him and DeAndre Hawkins are looking good right now. Both had 100 yard games. Texans got like a good offense now. I mean, all they need is pretty much an average QB, and they might win the division. Um, Dolphins, Dolphins almost made a late comeback. Matter of fact, they should have beaten the Seahawks last week. Sheesh, Dolphins beat themselves. They would have been one and one by now, but they almost made a late comeback against the Jimmy Garoppolo led Patriots. Uh, Tannehill, three eighty nine, two touchdowns, two picks. Landry and Devontae Parker, 100 yards each. Landry also did have a fumble. Uh, Garoppolo was having a good game until um, he got hurt. They up, There was an update on his injury. He actually has a sprain AC joint on his right shoulder, so he will not play on Thursday. They said the Patriots draft pick, Jacoby Brissett, will start on Thursday. He's not. Garoppolo's not playing on Thursday. Um, Blunt got me fantasy points. 123 yards in the touchdown, giving me fantasy points. Martel has been stepping up for Gronkowski, had a good game. And yeah. Bengals, Steelers, good game throughout. But Steelers came up with the win. Roethlisberger, he did throw two picks, but at the same time, threw three touchdowns. And I believe he leads the league in touchdown passes right now. Uh, D'Angelo Williams having another good game. Stepping up for um, Le'Veon Bell, who's suspended again. Um, Antonio Brown didn't do much this game. <coughs> My bad. And Andy Dolan had one touchdown pass. And after uh, and after a beauty performance, after AJ Green was uh, roasting the crap out of Darrell Revis like he was toasting him all game. He only had thirty eight yards in this game. Uh, Dallas Washington Cowboys get the first win of the year. Uh, Prescott got his first. I ain't gonna lie, Prescott isn't looking bad right now. But if somehow Cowboys do good with Prescott, they pop, I, I think they should just roll with him because honestly, Romo needs to retire. I wouldn't want to risk another injury. After after the Giants shut down Ezekiel Elliott last week, he played. He has a better performance, 83 yards and a touchdown, but he did fumble two times. Des Bryant, after he was being clamped to eight yards last week. Word to the Cowboys fans on Twitter. Hmm. Hmm. Best wide receiver in the league, all right. Uh, he had 102 yards. But um, funny thing is, Odell, Odell Beckham doesn't even have a 100-yard game yet this season. Yeah, he still has more yards than Dez. Funny, funny. Meanwhile, Kirk Cousins is looking awful right now. All that offensive ta- the Redskins have, he only has one touchdown pass and three interceptions in two games. Cousins is looking awful right now. But, and Josh Doxson, who I need to drop from my fantasy team, only has 57 yards. He got his first catch, his only catch. Bucks got destroyed by the Cardinals, jeez. And after a four touchdown performance by Jason, Jason, Jameis Winston, my bad. Jameis Winston had four touchdowns last week against the Falcons. Turn that around, now he has four picks. He had four picks against the Cardinals, and yeah, things didn't go well. Um, and I don't know what is up with the Seahawks, man. They have scored a combined 15 points in the past two games. Their offense is struggling, and apparently they lost against the Rams team that has yet to score a touchdown this year. I don't know what's up with the Seahawks, man. I feel like every time Seahawks play the Rams, they always struggle against them. Colts, Broncos, Broncos come up with the win. Andrew Luck, then again, both quarterbacks struggled, both Luck and Simeon. Simeon didn't do much, but Luck did have a touchdown pass, but at the same time, he had two turnovers. He threw a pick six and lost a fumble that was returned for a touchdown from by Shane Ray. Von Miller had a hell of a game. I think he had three sacks. I think he's league leader in sacks now. Yeah, he had three sacks in this game. I think he leads the league in sacks now. Uh, Falcons beat the Raiders. Mari Cooper disappointed for me in fantasy. 
But hey, apparently I started him over Sterling Shepard. Uh, Matt Ryan, 396, three touchdowns, and uh, interception in the red zone, but meh. Devontae Freeman had 93 yards. Julio Jones had an, uh, another good game. 106 yards and a touchdown. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Carr threw three touchdowns, 299 yards. Cooper disappointed for me, but oh well. Um, I don't know what is up with the Jaguars right now. I thought they were going to do good, but they're already 0-2. They're looking awful right now. So they got destroyed by the Chargers. And how about this? Melvin Gordon didn't have a single touchdown run last season. He already has three touchdowns already. He's already impressing. Um, He's having a good start to his sophomore year. And um, big news for the Chargers. Danny Woodhead is done for the year with a 20 ACL. Sucks for them. Travis Benjamin had a good game. Um, and Packers, Vikings. Vikings came up with the win in their first game ever at the new U.S. Bank Stadium. Uh, Bradford, who's now in the Vikings after Bridgewater tore his ACL. 286 and two touchdowns. Aaron Rodgers kind of struggled. Let's just say he struggled. <sighs> Kind of killing my fantasy team. I'm just kidding. I, I love Aaron Rodgers, no matter what. Big news here. Adrian Peterson has a torn meniscus. He is having an awful start to the season. All of a sudden, he has a torn meniscus. That's not good, man. And finally, Eagles, Bears. I mean, it is just the Bears and the Browns, but Carson Wentz isn't looking that bad, as everyone expects. Well, I don't know how to say it. He's not looking bad as everyone thought he was going to be. It's a guy coming from North Dakota State. Like, not many pe- not many NFL players come from North Dakota. So, um, I believe Jay Cutler got hurt. Like, he threw an interception. All of a sudden, he got hurt. Um, I think he had, a, like, a thumb injury, whatever. <clears throat> Langford had 28 yards in the touchdown. Alshon Jeffrey had 96 yards on the day. And the Eagles were just clamping them all game. It was all Eagles, so my prediction video will I'm probably gonna do a prediction video on Thursday because I might be busy tomorrow. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'm out. Peace.